Today we're going to be looking at one of the most difficult and most painful realities that some of us face. The question we have today is, why is there suffering? The Bible says it is to produce patience and endurance. Reading from scripture, Romans chapter 5 verses 3 and 4. And not only this, but with joy, let us exult in our sufferings and rejoice in our hardships, knowing that hardship produces patient endurance and endurance proven character. Suffering or pain invades every one of us at some point of time through many situations and circumstances. It could be through physical pain, which comes as a result of our diseases or illness, it could be an emotional hurt that comes from broken relationships or it could be painful separations through death of a loved one or even ongoing hardships. Let us establish in the beginning itself that God is not the source of pain and sufferings, but he is the author of all that is good, as it says in James chapter 1, 13 to 17. Suffering can be understood in many ways. But for today's focus, we will look at just one aspect, that suffering and pain unleashes endurance and character. Learning from a life example of the birth process. The process of birth is a traumatic and painful experience as the baby struggles and maneuvers out through the birth canal. The trauma that the baby goes through from being cocooned from a mother's womb into a harsh, cold and unconducive environment where the conditions are very harsh are the first attempts to build resilience and endurance. Other examples that we see in life are when little children begin to walk. The initial experiences are quite painful with hard knocks and hard hits, yet it aids the child to once again endure the pain and strategize so that they can come into some form of stability. Or even a dream that God puts into our hearts to accomplish. Initially, when we begin to live the dream, it is a, a life of pain and struggles. But in the process, you are built with fortitude and strength. Similarly, in every one of life's situations, each event can be excruciatingly painful and overwhelming. Yet, God's word promises that through these struggles, we will have beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, and the garment of praise instead of a spirit of heaviness. Now, you and I can be completely assured that every suffering and pain are opportunities that God uses for our good to help us become more forbearing as well as being patient. Now this progresses into a stronger character, a place of greater spiritual maturity that reflects and manifests the glory of Jesus in our lives. So how glorious it is to know that we have a God who sees our pains, who carries our tears and works out everything for our good. We can be sure that through our suffering and through our pain, we will endure and we will grow in patience and thereby grow in spiritual maturity. Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you for your word that teaches us that all things work together for good. Even at times when we go through painful situations, when we suffer hard, we know God that your word teaches us that we will grow in patience and endurance by looking at your face and learning your word. Teach us to be enduring and patient in those times of struggle and know that all things work together for our good. We give you glory in the midst of our sufferings. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.